Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to quickly show you uh, how to avoid uh, seeing a blank screen after the splash screen. And uh, it's uh, so annoying uh, having to see that uh, blank screen appearing uh, even for a millisecond uh, after you implement the splash API. But uh, worry no more because uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now before I show you, let me first introduce you with the actual project that I have prepared for the demonstration purposes. So we have just a simple uh, example screen that contains a column which contains uh, one button, right? And that uh, column uh, will be displayed uh, after a fake delay of uh, 2 seconds. So this fake delay will just uh, represent that uh, kind of uh, blank uh, screen after the splash screen, right? So whenever we uh, launch our uh, actual application after the splash screen, uh, we're going to see that uh, blank screen and after 2 seconds our actual screen content will show up. So this is of course just for the demonstration purposes, but nevertheless, let me show you how you can fix that. So uh, to fix that, here we can use uh, one of the functions uh, after this install splash screen function, which is called a set keep on screen condition. And this uh, function right here will allow us to keep the splash screen opened and active until we are uh, fully ready to display the actual screen. So for that purpose, I'm going to create here a new variable, for example, uh, keep splash uh, opened, and its default value will be true. Let's specify this uh, boolean value inside this uh, uh, function as well. So now um, this uh, value will be used to actually keep our uh, splash screen opened. And now we need to make a logic to change this uh, variable uh, back to false if we want to uh, hide our uh, splash screen. However, we want to hide that splash screen only after we are fully ready to display our screen. So for that purpose, I'm going to add here one uh, lambda on a uh, data uh, loaded, for example. This is just a simple lambda that will return a unit, right? And after this uh, fake delay of uh, two seconds, I'm going to call this lambda. So on data loaded, right? And now let's implement that uh, lambda right here. So only when uh, our data is fully ready to be displayed within our uh, uh, screen, only then we want to change here this uh, variable to false. And only then we will be able to close our uh, splash screen and see our uh, home screen fully available to be displayed. And now uh, when I run this application, you will see that the splash screen uh, will stay active until those uh, two seconds in this case pass. And only after that, our splash screen will close and we will be able to see our actual screen. So let's check that out. Okay, so the splash screen is active and after 2 seconds, our home screen is fully ready to be displayed, which is the same time as our splash screen closed. And there we go. So this is a little trick that will allow you to uh, avoid uh, having that uh, blank screen appearing uh, after your splash screen. So uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about this uh, approach. Also uh, comment down below if you think that there is another uh, different uh, approach that we can use with this uh, issue. And uh, as always, uh, be sure to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that'll be all.